your microphones off. Unhook your microphone. There you go. I'm logged in from somebody else's account. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> is this part of your new security protocols? Oh my God. Guess what happened? What happened? Instagram disabled my account. What's that? I said Instagram disabled my account. You mean like forever? I don't know. I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> Apparently some people <clears throat> get it back and some people don't. What was, did they say what happened? I don't know. I think it's like some kind of phishing, like hacking some, ha I don't know, some weird like login thing. And they think I was, I'm log, I'm some other thing. And I don't know. So I'm disabled. And how are you dealing with that? I'm pissed. <laughs> That's your major thing, isn't it? I'm choked. I had like almost 5,000 followers. Like now I have to start from scratch. It's brutal. <laughs> I'm I got, pissed. huh? I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm really sad. <laughs> I mean, this has happened to people with bigger Instagram accounts than me, but like I want my Instagram back. I have so many people on there from like, everywhere that I've been and like cool people. And now I don't even know anyone. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> Obscurity. All, all my photos are gone. All my stories are gone. Everything I've done in the past like 10 years. It's horrible. I'm so sad. I'm, tr I'm gonna keep trying, but it's not looking good right now. But did, did they give you a reason? I think it's like some like third party app, like bullshit. They think it was like some kind of like, I don't know. It, I was like, I didn't do anything wrong to deserve this basically. Like this, it, it, they think it's this app that I was using that like gives you statistics of your Instagram and they don't like that app now. Cause now when I looked on the reviews for that app, a bunch, this has happened to a bunch of people because of using the app, Instagram thinks you're like some kind of scam phishing scam or something and i don't know so don't they have a process of review kind of thing yeah but i've submitted and then i've looked at other people this this has happened to in like blog posts and they all say that instagram is just useless like even if you go through the steps they just like you just don't hear anything from them yeah so it's i've done it I've, you can submit there's like an appeal process you can submit an appeal but i read this blog post and the same thing happened to her and she's just like kept going around in circles. Like they're like, okay, we'll submit this. And then you submit it. And then they're like, okay, we'll get back to you. And then they never get back to you. It's just like, it's just like bots. It's just like robots that are right. not anything. And then she said in her blog post, she said, what works for her is finding somebody that works at Facebook or Instagram. Yeah. And yeah. contacting them. And then somebody that's like a real person can put it in the hands of somebody else. And then she got her account back in six hours. The thing that concerns me is that like the first highlight on my Instagram page is like COVID lie and like COVID lie too. It's just like, I don't know if they're going to like that. <laughs> well, do you think that you got shut down because of your aggressive no. stance? No. I mean, I don't think so because it was just because I was using this app. Okay. And I should have known because I, when I, when I logged in with this app another time, it logged me out and said, suspicious activity, change your password. So I changed my password and this was like, whatever, like a month ago or something. And then I, I never use it. I just, this, this app used to work. It like tells you like who followed, like who followed you, who unfollowed you. Like, that's it. It's a, it's, that's what I look at it for. I'm like, who unfollowed me, you know? And then like, and it used to work fine. Like a year ago, it was fine. <clears throat> And then a month ago, when I logged in for the first time, it did that. It made me change my password. I was like, okay, change my password. Then again, I, I just did it like on Saturday. This is when I got shut down. I did it on Saturday. And again, it was like, you need to change your password. There's like suspicious login activity, like blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I changed my password. And then this time when I went to log in on, on Instagram again, it said, um, you need to prove that this is you. 
uh, we sent a code to your phone. So they sent me a code to my phone. I put in the code to prove, they're like, we're gonna review this. And if we can confirm that this is you, blah, blah, blah. This usually takes 24 hours. 24 hours goes by and I log in again. And it's like, we've disabled your account. So what, <laughs> they decided They decided it's not me or I don't know, or they looked at my account and they saw my COVID lie post. But I don't think that's it because when you look at the app, the reviews, there's like many people that they're like, don't get this app. It, it used to work fine. And then it cost me my Instagram account and I never got my Instagram account back. And then another person said this, this same thing. Like I lost my Instagram account, but I finally got it back now. So some people got their account back. Some people didn't, but I think it's just because that app. So <laughs> Instagram doesn't like you using a, a third party apps. And they think like, because some people use these apps to like buy followers and buy likes, even though the app I was using doesn't, has nothing to do with buying followers or buying likes. It's just statistics. <clears throat> but some of these apps, you can buy followers and you can buy likes and Instagram doesn't like that. Right. So I don't know, man, but I'm concerned that if I like, I get someone at Facebook to, to reinstate me or something, because I, I, I know somebody right now who says he has a contact at Facebook who's pretty high up. But like, what if they look at my page and they're like, oh, she's talking about COVID being a lie. Like, I don't think reinstating her is a good idea, you know? Well, you can't get past that one in any degree. So, you know, it sounds like it sounds like it's the app and not your politics, but it's they've also... Yeah. I mean, they're they're using censorship a lot stronger lately like <laughs> i know they're eradicating our the movement is being eradicated <laughs> it's like yeah and i'm trying to make myself feel better because there's this like there's many other like there's this girl and she had like i don't know like ninety thousand followers like a lot of followers and like her account got deleted i don't even know why her account got deleted and she had to start a new account so like, that makes me feel better that it's not just me. And she had like a lot of followers, but like, why didn't she just try harder to get her account back? I don't understand. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think, I mean, I left in Instagram a while back and I just get the vibe that like Facebook and Instagram and most of the big ones are going to die. I hope so. Cause if they're going to ban me, like this is like your censorship. They're fucking like everything that I've seen them do. I know to me are like death, like they don't understand, they're gonna lose everybody just because at some point, you know, the totally. sense Everyone's getting banned. And like um, Twitter too. And like, I'm listening to all these truthers and they're just like, yeah, I got banned off Twitter. I got banned off this. I got, it's just like happening to everybody. Well, like how do they expect their apps to continue? Well, they, they won't. And what'll happen is all the intelligent people are moving into, let's say, uh, whatever are the other uh, like signal or telegram or anything else that can you can communicate through but i think it's like smaller knowledge groups are going to start to form yeah and, and it's like you're you, like i don't want to be with thousands of people i don't want for, you know i mean to me i was just getting rid of people because i want engagement and participation yeah i want people i know and we're actually you know in in some sort of like long dialogue about important matters and and there's context and there's understanding like i now want to have the distinctions that i have in my mind around you know, these guys are members these guys are allies these guys are customers and those are very different social medias and i talk to them very differently because if i'm just talking to the public and it's just people i don't know okay that's just like presentation at you know marketing whatever it is to draw them in into whatever you know programs that i want to sell them and that's it. You know, I'm not there to make friends. I'm there to get customers. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of maybe going to be a blessing in disguise, but like, I'm still upset. Um, so I'm so, using my personal, I have like another Instagram, like a personal one. It has like 60 followers. <laughs> I'm so like, oh, How does it feel? It's been kind of like, it's kind of nice, like not having Instagram, you know? You got a lot of pressure on you. All of a sudden your whole game has changed. That's funny because now you're looking at the website. What happens if you could have made 5,000 of those people 
and maybe 500 or 50 bought like a program for a thousand bucks. I know I had a big, I had a big like audience and I wasn't even capitalizing on it in any way, you know? But so uh, now, now that I got the website, now you lost it. I'm going to try to use the website though, too, to, to make an argument to Instagram that I need my original Instagram back. That's why I have the, the plumrobot.com now. I know, I know, but listen, listen. This is what, this is two or three weeks after I hammered you and I was waiting for months to hammer you. And did you notice my control? No, what do you mean? Yes, that you I, haven't hammered me? No, like I'm hammering, I'm hammering you. And I'm just, I couldn't wait to hammer you. And I just, you open it. Okay, here's you. Have a, <laughs> and then you go, you've got to learn to detach. <laughs> And I just silenced me because it was just this sort of truth. <laughs> you're, right. you're so right. I'm so caught up in other people's opinions, especially Miss Plum's and her ignoring me and me going into fits of depression because I, all the people in Very Secret Plan are all freaking over there doing their own freaking thing. <laughs> I love it. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um no but this is good because now look i'm i'm going into the website i'm doing things i'm like looking this is at the, the universe web. this is the universe i know and I, it's funny because i actually agree like i feel like the universe i was using instagram in a bad way okay uh -huh. not in a bad okay so yeah so I, like i said yeah i do feel like this is the universe this is the universe kind of maybe pushing me right to like do something like yeah so I've met this guy here and he's really annoying and he's like trying to tell me how to be a better person and all this shit. Oh yeah. And he said, part of my problem is I have to get off the phone. It's like the phone is like fucking my brain and I'm all these notifications and all these messages. Like I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. So maybe this is like the universe being like, Hey, you can't waste your time anymore with like a bunch of but I still want my account back. So anyways. So some um, annoying guy says these things to you that I've been saying for what? No, I know. And trust me, I'm not listening to him either. Trust me. <laughs> this is why the universe did this. He is so frustrated with me. Like he's so frustrated. He like, he yells at me and he's like, you need me. He's like, you're going to fuck up your life. Like all this shit. He tells me I'm selfish and uh, self-centered. And I don't, I don't tell people why I value them. And I don't, you guys should meet. You guys should have a talk. <laughs> we should have a Zoom meeting with him, actually. Did you tell him about the love prophet? No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm still upset because I had all these people from like Miami and like all these friends from Miami on my Instagram. And now I'm like, they're, I'm never going to get those followers back. Like they're not, I'm not just going to message them from my no name Instagram and be like, Hey, remember me? Like, follow me again. They're going to be like, who the fuck is this girl? That, that is ridiculous. That's the extent of your ridiculousness. I know. Means that they are worth being connected to. They know who you are. They don't give two fucks about how many followers you get and they probably want less right. because then you're not going to spread yourself so thin amongst all these people who are just meaningless. Exactly. And that's what I was doing. I was spreading myself super thin with like 4,000, 5,000 followers that are just like, anyways, I just, I don't want to do all the work again of gathering half of 10,000 followers again. Look, Miss Plum, you go along with the secret plan. You'll have millions of followers within a year or two. I hope you're right. But now I can't even use my handle. Plum Rova is gone. You can, you, it's time for a name change then. Fuck. I hate the universe sometimes when they They're do all going to go, what happened to Miss Plum? There's going to be a rebellion. There's going to be a, thousands of people going, I need to see Miss Plum and her little things that she does with her phone. I have had some messages on Facebook, like, where's your Instagram account? Like, someone was like, I speak for many, we want your Instagram back. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. I mean, you, this is, to me, you're, you're missing the point. We're in a battle, you just got taken out. And so you got to come up with a move to get back in the game. But it's almost like if your main thing could be taken out, you need to be spread over a whole bunch of platforms. So if one goes down, the others can still live yeah, on. I, mean, I still have Facebook, which I still have 5,000 followers on, but still, or 5,000 so, friends. And like, so to me, whenever you get blocks like that, you got to switch. 
and and the universe is redirecting you. So I mean, it's like F Facebook time. Have you used the Remedy Oracle? No. Are you signed up? No. What? What? Yeah. No, I have. But you know that thing I asked you to look at that you wouldn't look at for months because I think I did. I I did do a spell. It's a spell, right? All. It's the three things where you do a spell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I did do it. I did do it. Did it what you got to sign up. It's, it's like, oh. it's one of our main product lines. Okay. Well, son, give me the link. I'll sign Choose up. Choose a remedy.com. Choose a remedy.com. Yeah. C H O O S. I know how to spell. Okay, I, got remedy. It. I got it. I got it. So there's a premium account and just the starter account. The starter account. Create a with free five account? Spells. Huh? Should I just create a free account? Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> hey, you could type in, this could be your first thing. How do I get back on Instagram? Right? It's an Oracle. It gives you answers. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. I'm so, I'm so like, oh. Okay. It's, 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 you know, the only time you come back is when <laughs> rock bottom, you just got whacked by something. <sighs> fine you're fine dancing you okay. need to we need to do a group zoom with this guy that i'm telling telling you about he's he's very esoteric too and uh he he's all about the human design he's studying like the human design and numerology and stuff a lot how old is he he's like 29 which okay. is annoying because he's younger than me and he like thinks he knows more than me and that's like so this okay. is this is your latest friend yeah yeah, here in Mexico. I'm in Mexico, right? right and right. Um, yeah, I met him here. He's from Argentina. He he does have good insights and like some of the things that he's told me. Once I've changed them, like they, I'm like better. They do improve my life. But he's got a lot of shortcomings where he like has it. Oh, and guess what? He's a fucking one life path as well. So he thinks it's like his way or the high. It's like he's the leader. Like he knows everything. Like. He, and then he has like all his need for recognition and like appreciation <laughs> and value being valued. And I'm like, okay. And you, and you are his greatest teacher because you give him none of that. Exactly. So it's like, he, but he thinks it's only me that has to work on things. I'm like, well, let's look at your shit too, because here you are like, you know, like you have to practice non-attachment. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. This plum is the greatest teacher in non-attachment. Okay, so it's sending me a link, it said, but I don't see. Oh, here it is. Choose a remedy. Do you want a screen share? Yeah. Okay, let me just get you. I've never done that on here. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're moving into big times here. Yeah. And look, you were right about so many things like the Zoom. You were like, Zoom is going to be huge. And now, like, Especially with the pandemic, everyone's using Zoom. Because people have to work from home and like they have to do like Christmas from Zoom, you know? Yeah, no, it's the first. And you know, me and Jimmy had something like this almost 15 years ago. We had the first Zoom. We had the first multi-video conferencing that I saw. Do you remember when you said that, that this that Zoom is gonna be huge? Well, I mean, some things are just obvious. Well, I don't know. You were bang on. I, I usually catch things a bit ahead of the time, but nobody seems to listen at the time. And then they go something like that. But then the next time I bring something up, you go, no, 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 or you don't pay. Oh, attention. here it is. Screen share. Okay. Screen da, 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 da. Okay. Are we screen sharing? Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make a big screen. Okay. Okay, so now write a question. Okay, so so yeah. either I can screen share or you can screen share. Is that how this works? Yeah, both. I mean, I made you the host. That you go oh. beside the person's name and say, "Make a host." Oh, that's how the other person screen shares. Cool. Thanks for the little tutorial. Okay. So there's. So, pick. I'm gonna write a question. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. And my question is, how do I get back, get my Instagram account back? Yeah. 
and we can send them this video. Oh, please, no. Yeah. They I don't think that, the series. I don't, I don't think this will help Elijah. Just go ahead and do it. Okay, so do I press continue? Put a put a question mark on the end there. Okay, very important. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's should been a we long like, time, Miss Plum. It's been a long I know. time. Should we like set an intention here or something, or is this okay? Yeah, let's. We can set an intention um, to get the highest prayer. Goal for most people. And uh, to get what? To to have the highest good for the most people. Yes. Oh God, that's gonna mean I don't get my Instagram back. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I can. Highest good for the most people, but very good for Miss Plum. Yes. <laughs> to 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 wait, but is this to answer your need for fame or to answer your your desire to help in greater social change? I don't know, Elijah. What do you mean? Well, you seem to be very active in terms of political investigation and sharing knowledge around that. Yes. And, but you also like to sort of see yourself uh as as somebody who who needs to be seen oh right okay we can ask another question around that let's just i'm just projecting here probably <laughs> okay should i press continue that's it i'm gonna put my notifications off this this is a historical moment miss plum very historical why well one this is the first time you and i using this tool online yes the first time you and i using this tool online to actively engage with the i wouldn't call them the enemy but maybe opponents of the social media giant instagram yes and uh we're, we're about to show the world because this i feel this could be the video that a lot of people watch this is you coming into facebook telling them what's happening on Instagram and starting to get your Facebook people to support you in creating well, whatever you want to create, I guess. Okay. I love it. Hopefully like participating in the very secret plan that, you know, we got going here. Yeah. I like your background. It's just a nice little sneak in. Just it's subtle. It's very subtle. <laughs> very, very subtle. <laughs> I always deal in the subtle. It, you, it usually does me well and that's the master cool. of the subtle um yeah okay I re are you ready ready okay this better work elijah or else i'm done like Jesus. <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just joking no, no you've no. got a great way to walk back onto stage <sighs> this had better be working <laughs> this better work well wow. sometimes it, it it doesn't um oh brilliant oh shocking Ideation, like it. Oh, center, very nice. So I have to use brilliance. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. That's a good one, though. To value excellence or distinction, conspicuous talent, mental ability. I'm going to have to like use my genius to get yeah. my account back. Yes. You're a great problem solver. It's not going to be like meditate on it, like, no, you know, no. be patient. It's like, no. use your brain. Or bring in the brilliance of other people. Yes. Right? You got a big network. Yes. I did find somebody who says he's got somebody high up. I'm just like scared to go to that because I feel like that could be my last resort guy. But do you think I should just go for it? Well, let's let's go through this and, and okay. see what comes out. Okay. So ideation. At the beginning of the creation process where ideas are discussed and flushed out. Okay. So that's generally like the main thing here is this convo type. So it's just like generating ideas, maybe using your network because you, you, you got a big network in Facebook and you, you can ask them and say, how am I going to get my Instagram back? I did and no one saw it. <laughs> I, actually, I didn't ask that question specifically. I asked, do you, does anybody know somebody at Facebook or Instagram? Well, you might want to, you don't sort of do these mass tag outs where you tag like 50 to 60 people, but tag the people you know might have a, a connection there. Oh. And, okay. and, and do it more than once, just because once, yeah. sometimes you got to do it a few times, right? Yeah, that's what one of the blog posts I saw is she 
she posted it three times a day for like three days until she got somebody and she's like a big time blogger yeah but, there you um, go yeah i mean but, but luckily i actually found somebody here in tulum i just luckily because i went to meet somebody to bring something to them and i was like just by chance i was like do you know anyone at facebook and he's like yeah he has somebody like high up i'm just like hesitant <laughs> hesitant to give them my Instagram because I don't know if they're going to judge my COVID lie highlights. Well, I don't know. I, I think because that's beyond your control. Yeah. That, that, it, that that's your best angle. But imagine, imagine being a Facebook manager and you probably got like, like, think about it. Like, or I mean, Instagram manager, you got like millions of people. And so many of them are trying to get on the inside for some, some reason. And if you're a manager, you have like all the it's probably a huge favor to do this right so it's it's uh it's it's the the plum power coming in and just scooping in with that little plum sauce and going i need your help oh. <laughs> anyway um center third one a point pivot access etc around which anything rotates or revolves Okay, so that's the focus point. So you're looking through the lens of center, you're bringing brilliance into the ideation conversation. So what, what do you think the center is? What does that represent? Me? Ooh. I don't know. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? What, what I was thinking actually the center of Instagram that could actually do what you needed, but... Um, you got to tie those two centers together. Oh, why does this keep? Yeah, it looks like our account's kind of under investigation with the, is your, is your screen going in and out? It's under investigation? What? <laughs> is your screen going on and off, like flickering? No. Okay, it's flickering on my end. Do you think they're spying on us? It's either that or my low memory, maybe. I'm sure usually I think it's spying, but it's usually due to my own incompetence. So it's. What do you mean incompetence? Well, just a lot of times tech goes wrong and I think it ceases screwing with me, but deep yeah. down it's my own incompetence with the tech usually. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> but I have been having questions lately of like, are, are they spying on me? Like I'm kind For of like, sure. not, not, not like you think. For sure. I think all of us are red flagged. Anyone who's doing the amount of stuff that we're doing is like, we're red flagged. Really? I just, I just don't think they have the resources and they care to. Well, well no, they're, but you're right. We may be, let's say with a hundred thousand people in Canada that are red flagged and they, which means they just monitor, they probably add the amount of algorithms that are monitoring us oh. and put us in a certain group. It's all database categories right so as soon as you sort of cross a line they i if i was them i mean you have to go from tracking the masses to tracking the highest priorities to tracking the red flags and then seeing when red flags come together and then you'd sort of have some sort of monitoring where only certain groups would get really monitored with like professional agents and i don't think we're quite at that stage yet but they, yeah. we will we will be because at okay. some point they will be going, who are these people? And how are they doing? What are they doing? And they are about to win. We got to do something about them. <laughs> They're about to win. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. And besides, we usually in the plan, we're telling them the plan as we go along. You know, if they just watch a few videos, they'll realize how serious we are. <laughs> They'll see it's a very advanced operation. Exactly. Very well that, orchestrated. That sweep ranting at Plum again. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, don't worry about these two. <sighs> yeah, that the yeah, they're really tight. They haven't talked in three months and she hasn't <laughs> done any work since she started. <clears throat> and he just seems to rant a lot. <laughs> He talks about his plan, but he never really seems to be get going anywhere because none of the people are listening to him. So he's got to do all the work himself and he gets frustrated, builds up, and then every once in a while he goes on a rant 
And then all of a sudden, Plub starts participating because what he said was actually true. And she goes, geez, if maybe I listened to him a little bit, maybe we'd be a little bit farther ahead with what we're doing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, getting back to you. Can we get back to me? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Had to get that in there. Okay, so brilliance ideation center. So, okay, now, what intuitiveness comes to you from seeing these? That I'm gonna have to like work really hard to get my account back. Well, I don't know if it would work really hard, but just come up with the right strategy, right? Okay. Yeah. Like it, it, it sounds as if if this guy, like I know you have this magical skill with people, and so if this guy really can help with the Facebook guy, that's your best option that's option what one but you need a backup plan in case the guy's a flake and, and he doesn't really know this guy and he's just saying it yeah i think it would be better if i directly knew the contact because maybe then they would want to try harder you know well you got to use a little charm like put some uh you know be persistent in sort of questioning him and you know check his level of commitment to the uh, goal I think he's a pretty solid dude. I think I should just go ahead and ask him for help now. I was gonna try to like wait and use him as a last resort, but I think I'll just do it now. Okay, yeah. I mean, cause he's like the center, he's, if he's got his hands to someone who actually can do something that's, you know, I mean, imagine that a million people and like maybe 20,000 of them have a problem in a day and they're all trying to make, you know, use the service and, you know, they got like three people working or something dealing with, like 5,000 of you, <laughs> like wow. good luck, man. That's why he's like small, like you want to be small and, and have a really good connection with whoever's providing your tech. Cause uh, you know, that's the ball game these days is like, how do you connect your info tech together? And this thing, what we have, we have a question answerer. Look at this and press, okay, press ideation. Look at that, a blog with all the ideation convos going on. <laughs> of course, it's empty right now, but check it out. Okay, now go back. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, good. Now press brilliance. <laughs> oh, shit. He well, I thought we might have lost it because- uh, No, no, no. Now, now, so here, get training, so brilliance if they get the value and they want deeper training, oh, and we got this brilliant answer there. <laughs> hey, uh, have you seen this guy? I think you sent this to me. Oh, uh, he's, I think he's one of the my favorite dancers in a long time. I mean, there's so many good dancers these days, but I just, he was yeah. the first person I saw doing this type of dancing. And I just remember, you know, white guys in high school dances, like humans are evolving through dance faster than anything, I think. Totally. Like, look at that. He's got such a good rhythm. <laughs> so, so imagine if you said like a little thing beside him, click, goes to his website and brings people who get trained in, in that. Right, like this whole thing would be a list of people that are brilliant at, at doing something. And it's, it, to me, it's like a, the, the remedy thing is a, a portal to bring millions of people in who are looking for answers and then they can get connected to training in all the values. Okay. I love it. Yeah, that's, that's my latest drama so yeah <laughs> so anyway. what's what's going on with the love life i'm in mexico uh-huh and uh not much is going on i mean i'm i don't know i'm still i'm still seeing like Dustin, who's in Vancouver, so we're just like doing this long distance thing. 
but um, I don't know, you know, I'll be back in May and I will deal with what, how we're going to proceed. I see. Yeah. When, when in May? Uh, probably like mid. And how, and you said only for two weeks, like. Yeah, I'll probably have to leave pretty soon after to go to Bulgaria. Oh, wow. I think so. I mean, this guy, the guy that's here that I was telling you about, that's giving me all this advice and stuff. He said, I shouldn't leave. I should just stay here. But of course he's going to say that because he's got, he's biased. Yes. Um, so he's in love with you. Is this it? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're like, I'm sure he somewhat thinks somewhat something about me, but he think he said he would never, he would never date me because he doesn't hate himself that much. Well, I think he knows that you would just stomp him to death. I'm already stomping him and we're not even anything. Oh, we're, yeah. just friend, we're just friends. I don't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't date him, but like, he's very, he's got good insights as a friend. <laughs> uh-huh. Maybe I should ask that question. I already know I'm gonna go though. I'm gonna go to Bulgaria. <coughs> and yeah. Do you wanna stop sharing? Oh yeah, sure. So what did, what did you think of that? That was good. I mean, it was accurate. I'm just trying to find, oh, how do I? Uh, At the oh, bottom. Stop share. stop share, okay. And then if you go beside my name, you can make me the host. Make host. Huh. Okay, so that's cool. how you <sighs> yep dark times we're in dark times right <laughs> so yeah but but also the other thing that this guy's doing is he's pushing me to like figure out what i'm gonna actually do like to make money and like to fulfill my purpose you know oh really <laughs> and uh what did you come up with I don't know. I'm thinking it's what you and I have always talked about. It's like, I was thinking like business consulting. What you and I, this is what we talk about. I just, I'm lazy, you know, like I'm lazy. Shit, you are. I don't want to like do all the work, you know, <laughs> you just got to be the, I don't know what I, I I'm, I'm not telling you nothing what you got to be. Why? <laughs> well, one, because because there to me there's no shared context anymore i mean you, you're totally in your own world and i mean well, I'm, I'm in mexico i know but i mean you know i my stuff's about to take off like i've like a lot of things are going well and a lot of uh proof is in the pudding happening had 144 people do the trust map 144 people did the five communication spaces 144 people got the convo killers and supposedly it went well. I mean, I didn't really get much feedback, but what they did say is uh, it went over well. And so we're continuing that. And right now me and Noah are, are working on a chat room, uh, a way to go from chat room to chat room to chat room from combo type to combo type to combo type. And so he's, you know, we're making forward progress there, but I mean, you know, this is, I'm working on, I don't know, 10 websites. I'm, I just, I'm just. And websites, holy. Yeah. And Do you have to pay for that? What's that? They're free though, right? Yeah. So do you just make multiple email accounts or Weebly lets you make as many as you want? Weebly allows 10. At a time. At a time. So if you have three accounts, you can have 30 websites kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what, what did you, you're, okay, so you're starting to think business. Okay, that's good. I should be happy. I should be going great. Wonderful. You know, <laughs> you know, just because somebody else is doing it, that's fine. If that's what it takes. No, nobody's doing, I mean, he's not doing it. He's just like, he, I, he's just, 
he's asking me. He's just like pushing it, which is good. Um, well, I bet you he sees, wow, you got a lot of potential there, Plum. Uh, what, are, what are you doing with it? Oh, yeah. Sitting around doing nothing. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And right. uh, you, you could be, you know, close to the greatest opportunity of your life, but you don't even seem to be seeing it. Like, hmm? What's the greatest opportunity of my life? The secret plan? Yes. <laughs> the very secret plan. You guys are so depressing. <laughs> So depressing. Oh my god. Maybe it's like when you completely let go of wanting others to. I think it's called death. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe then it'll happen, you know, like when you let go. It is happening. So you're letting go. You have to because it just, it, you have to. People just will drive you crazy. Well. Oh. Well, um. Yeah. Got to go. You got to. I don't know. I just don't want to like. Uh, I don't want to be boring. Well, I mean, it's good we're back in contact. Uh, that's yeah. a start. Yeah. Um, perhaps I would like if you could maybe use the uh, the remedy every day, or just we could upgrade your account so you could have unlimited spells. Wow. You're on the in. Thank you, Elijah. And so you can just start asking questions and pop them on your stream, or just see how it works. Just maybe this is the beginning of us working together because you can start. You know, people come, it's like the crow. The crow's got the little tool now. The crow can go do go do their thing. And owls in the background just making all the shit happen. Owl. Yeah. I'm a blue jay, Elijah, not a crow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I knew I knew what you meant. As soon as you said it, I knew what you were talking about. Okay. Oh yeah. Do you remember who I said the crows were? No. We can't talk about such things. We can't mention such things. Well, uh, oh, <laughs> I uh, okay. That's the, that's it. That's the step. We're back in contact. You were on inactive. Uh, I love you, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you better now? You were sick before. I. <clears throat> yeah, I, I sort of been sleeping a lot lately. Yeah, I was sick too. Yeah, did you? Get, how sick? It was okay, but it was yeah, I was sick. I'm almost a hundred percent now, not quite, but. I mean, it's it's a bit of a drag to be anti-COVID when you're sick. It's hard to rally the troops. You can still get sick. You can just. We're not asking to shut down the world, though. I know. You know. So, what do you think about it all? Like, it's getting worse and worse, right? It's. I don't think it's going to end anytime soon, but who knows? They just shut down BC again. I know it's such a joke. It's like almost summer. Like, what do you? Why are they shutting it down? Fuck them! I know. I mean, I thought things were just going fine, and all my streams are all I hear about is all the scamming. I don't hear anything but the scamming. So then every once in a while you see a CTV thing. So I think I, I posted to follow CTV and they're coming out with, looks like on the island, there's another real bad thing coming. So get ready folks. It's just constant fear mongering. Oh, the UK variant, the Africa variant, the yeah. Brazil variant. It's like the first variant wasn't anything like, get over it, you know? Yeah. And, and different streams are either all for it or all against it. But I'm seeing more people against it. I saw this a few CTV things where ever, all the comments were like, yes. you guys are full of shit. You guys yes. are like lying. I, I like, I started doing that on all CTV's posts. Anytime I saw a post, it's cause it's every post they post is fear mongering BS. Yeah. So I'm like, every time I see a CBC, I'm like, you guys are trash. Like all you're doing is propaganda. All you're doing is fear mongering. Like, 
where's the real reporting you know and like people are just all over it now mm. everyone's bashing them i love it mm. okay so how about just next step use the site start to use it and start asking some all, all a whole bunch of interesting questions around instagram maybe and then uh i'll see how to deal with you being an active participant again because uh thank you i've been we've been uh, estranged yet again <laughs> okay see you elijah Always. And, uh, I'll see you in May, hopefully. I will look forward to it. But right. hopefully we have a few more calls before then. Yes. I'll keep you posted. Great to see you. You too.